Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here coming at you with an Intel report. This series analyzes each unit in Command & Conquer Rivals to teach you how to counter it and how to best utilize it in your own deck. These videos are currently not monetized, so if you do fancy showing me some support, I've put a link to my digital tip jar in the description below. Every little helps, but likes and subscribes are really awesome too. Today we're going to be looking at GDI Jump Jet Troopers. Jump Jet Troopers are a squad of elite anti-vehicle infantry equipped with a mobility enhancing J-70 jetpack. Although their jetpack is not powerful enough for sustained flight, it does allow Jump Jet Troopers to vault over terrain obstacles and move quickly across the battlefield. Jump Jet Troopers, often shortened to JJTs, are fast moving vehicle hunters built from the barracks. They excel at leaping across the battlefield and dealing heavy damage to enemy vehicles, whether these be tanks, heavier tech units, or enemy harvesters. Their speed also allows them to keep up with faster moving ground vehicles like attack bikes and pit bulls, and their weaponry will make short work of these. It should be noted that whilst JJTs are quite happy to reduce buggies and rhinos to scrap quickly, stronger anti-infantry vehicles like Widowmakers and Wolverines will chew through them very quickly. Their movement is extremely fast, and they can leap over any obstacles in their path, whether this be battlefield obstacles like lakes and rocks, or your opponent's units. A JJT squad boosted by Jackson's heroic charge ability is a terrifying sight to behold, and can at first be quite tricky to deal with, but I assure you they can be countered surprisingly swiftly and easily. Although hard and fast hitting against vehicles, JJTs do very little damage to infantry and are astonishingly fragile to units like Militants and Riflemen or Shockwave and Flame Troopers, both of which will cut down enemy JJTs extraordinarily quickly. If you see your opponent rushing JJTs towards your Harvester or other vehicles, try to position one of these squads in the way and you'll be surprised at the amount of damage they take as they pass. Don't even get me started on how ludicrously effective snipers and MG squads are against them. As a squad, JJTs are surprisingly resilient to anything that's not anti-infantry fire, but the squad mechanic does also mean that their efficiency deteriorates as they take damage. Once the Jump Jet Trooper squad is below half health, I would seriously consider throwing them at something to release your population cap and to build a new unit. Whether this is more Jump Jet Troopers or something else entirely will depend upon the situation at hand, of course. JJTs are also unable to target aircraft, which means that Talons and Venoms are also good choices to clear away these pesky leaping lunatics. So how do you squeeze these speed freaks into your own deck? Well, I have a couple of suggestions, and the first should come as absolutely no surprise to those who've watched my other videos or faced me in-game. Yes, it's the Strong Arm Air Deck. In this deck we have missile squads for our early scouting, and MG squads to take out enemy infantry that gets too close. Talons are great early anti-aircraft units, and they can take out enemy infantry too, if your opponent is refusing to bring them into range of your MG squads. The Orcas make great aerial assassins to deal with enemy ground vehicles. The Hammerhead, as you would expect, is there to keep the skies clear for your aircraft, but in the lower leagues you can also swap to a sandstorm, and this will often do just as well. So, with Orcas doing a lot of anti-vehicle duty, why bother to run jump jets? Well, JJTs can come out that little bit faster since they're in the same building that our scouting unit is in, and with good micro they can be used to keep pit bulls and attack bikes away from your air units. Strong Arms Turret makes a great body blocking option that can swing early fights in your favour and opens up a line of retreat for your JJTs and aircraft to fall behind. The second deck is one often utilised and popularised by the Fallen. Again we have missile squads for scouting, but this time our anti-infantry barracks unit is Shockwave Troopers, as these work better with Jackson than MG squads do since his heroic charge ability affects their movement speed much more and allows them to sprint into position and melt whatever infantry is in your way. Predators assist with any heavy ground units your opponent may start to bring out. This is especially useful if your opponent starts amassing rhinos, buggies or wolverines. 
Talons are here in case your opponent shifts gears into Venoms, or goes full tilt at your jump jet troopers and starts spamming heavy infantry. They're also great for stealing a pad at the last second. Sandstorms round out this mix with heavy anti-aircraft capabilities, while still being able to hold their own against ground units and assist with clearing pads. Of course, a hammerhead could also fill this role quite nicely. Here the jump jet troopers, like in the previous deck, are fast moving vehicle hunters that are great for taking out attack bikes, pit bulls, scorpions, or two range units like giga cannons and MLRS that otherwise your predator tanks may struggle with. Jackson's heroic charge ability also allows you to take advantage of openings in your opponent's defences, allowing jump jets to leap across the battlefield and slam into an unsuspecting vehicle. This is especially useful for vehicle sniping or harvester pressure, as a boosted JJT unit requires an immediate response from your opponent. I hope that's helpful. Be sure to check out my other intel reports if you're struggling against certain units, or looking for tips as to how to best apply a new unit in your deck. Also check out my Acting on Instinct series with analysis of game mechanics and solid advice on how to get ahead in Rivals. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe to be up to date and ahead of the game. Happy sailing, and see you on the battlefield! Thank you.